Everybody, I'm Diane Brady. I'm here with California State Senator Monique Limon, who is the only legislator, I should point out, who was on the Forbes Future of Work list. Senator Limon, how are you? Good. How are you, Diane? Great to see you again. Great to see you. And the reason we're talking about the reason that actually got you onto this list, which was you were behind this transformative pay um, transparency, you know, for Pay Equity Act that became a law earlier this year. And now you've got this pay equity pledge. Let's start with how you're seeing now that this is the law of California. How has it been playing out? Well, look, this has been the law in California since uh, January 1st of 2023, and mm -hmm. it is the Pay Transparency for Pay Equity Act. And uh, we're really proud that we were able to get the governor's signature, um, but certainly also very happy with what we're seeing just in the first uh, eight months that this uh, law has been implemented. Uh, and some of what we're seeing is really uh, some real effects, I think, for employees who are applying to jobs to be able to see that salary range um, has made quite a difference in terms of where they're applying, um, how they're applying, and also their ability to negotiate from early on um, in the process and not have to wait later on in the process. So uh, we're very happy with that. The reporting piece that is in the law, um, it, that comes next. Um, right. And so uh, we're still in the early phases, but I think it's been something that um, overall has been very positive for employees. And I'm hearing from employees across the country and employers who are saying, you know, once California put this into law, um, they're also you know, putting it into law in other places, but also just following the practice. Um, sometimes it's one or two states that may put it, something into law, but the practice then becomes more of a national um, practice. And so I think we're starting to see more of that. Well, and I should have pointed out, it is one of the most expansive in terms of the reporting, but I guess what's interesting here in New York, and I've seen this in other parts of the country, is those ranges are pretty wide. You could drive a truck through some of those ranges, like anywhere from 100,000 to 180, from 40. Th so is that gaming the system or is that recognizing that, you know what, there, there could and perhaps should be a wide range for some roles? Well, I will say that I think it's doing both. Um, I think that there are, you know, some entities that um, are trying to game the system. Certainly, we saw ranges from 100,000 to 900,000, and we think that's probably not in the spirit of the law. 900,000, um, boy, sign me up right. for that one. Um, so, but there's all the also others where um, the range really is. A uh, forty, fifty thousand, eighty thousand dollars spread, depending on experience, depending on years, you know, of education, and all of that is uh, very appropriate to take into consideration. So we are seeing both. Um, I think we are really focused right now on just making sure that the law itself um, is in place, that our state agencies that are getting ready to collect the data, because they do so um, on a periodic basis, will have the capacity to start collecting this data and start looking at. It, um, and reflecting an aggregate summary of what we're seeing um, on an annual basis. So those are really the two pieces, but I would say that it was also expected that we would have these range, these broad ranges for some, and that we would have some folks that were trying to game the system. Um, that's nothing new. Uh, you know, in, in this legislative process, we see that. But I will say that a bulk of the employers that do business with California are really um, moving forward, following the spirit of the mm -hmm. law. Um, and um, I have, uh, you know, I've heard some people, I, I would say that December of 2022, right before the law went into place, I heard from a lot of HR folks that were um, in the midst of trying to, you know, really do the work to figure out what that range looked like. Um, and so it was really a busy time now it's the law, now it's in practice, people are breathing slightly different um, than they were before the law went into place and we're excited about what we're seeing.